Welcome back to Blar. We have Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen Jenga here. A good thing is, it's the symbols of Transformers, Autobots, and Decepticons. So I'm not a fan of new movies at all. But as a Transformers fan, this looks really good in the black and silver. So I grabbed it for five bucks. Uh, it's almost complete. It doesn't have any instructions. The game, because it's Transformers, it looks like it's a special rule, which you can look up on Board Game Geek, I think has the rule. Standard Jenga though, pull out a block, stack a block kind of thing. The components are very nice. They're a nice heavy wood and the paint for the symbols doesn't seem like it's going to rub off easily. Again, maybe this thing didn't get much play. So it could be that. So there's some edges there. You can see are a little bit worn. Lots of pieces. You got these random three on the upper left here. Decepticons, they look really good. The silver and black, does, like I said, does look good. I ain't gonna make it so the face shows up on the side of the tower. So, a little, maybe a little tedious putting together that way, which I'm not even gonna get around to. There's Jenga, which looks nice, and the, the black and silver outline. And this came out in 2009, I guess it's when Revenge of the Fallen came out. But not a bad little little pickup. I think it was like I said, five bucks at a thrift store. All the pieces are there, which is nice. Just no instructions. So if you find it cheap and you're a Transformers fan, it's probably a nice thing to maybe you could set it all up, put it together, and just have it sit there. Or I guess you could play the game if you want. It's a nice heavy components. Lots of pieces double stack there and then some more on the left so that is transformers revenge of the fallen jenga that's a short unboxing thanks for watching triple r have a good day or night wherever you are